Hey guys, Pete Rams here, HGAC Greatness. Happy Monday to you. I wanted to give everybody an update. We've got three major announcements for the group. Number one, to start off with this photo contest. We're going to be announcing some winners tomorrow. Kevin Scott Brin, he's got a good entry there. These are component abuse. So this one's great. Brent's uh, uh, blower here that's uh, uh, obviously is not being maintained. I think I'll load. And so uh, we can see all the dust build up there. Ugh, nasty. So um, does this scroll? No, I don't want to open up every one of them that way. TJ, sorry. You're looking too good, bro. All right. So uh, Chris has got some pretty corroded coils there. Davis has a... Looks like the heat exchanger is all busted up. Uh, David Postel has a nasty evap coil. Uh, Paul kind of has all kind of stuff in here. That one there I really like. Uh, let me zoom this in, guys. <laughs> you got to see this one. So, you know, you've got your copper or aluminum tubing passing inside of your aluminum fins. And well, what happens when all those fins go away? It's hard to see because the, uh, the outer uh, uh, coil guard, but... Uh, there are no aluminum fins in there left. So what does that do to your heat transfer? Oh my gosh. So um, yeah, uh, Bill Ash put a nice underside to an A-coil there. Mason, he pulled that apart. You just see the stuff just peeling off like paper. It's such buildup. Uh, Omar's got a, <laughs> he said, uh, the only thing that stopped, he said the only thing that stopped the, uh, the protect of the house from the car was the condensing unit. So. Uh, Ben's got a pretty nasty looking furnace there. Carmen, I don't know what that is, but it's growing. Uh, Jason's got another, uh, looks like uh, favorite urinal for uh, Fido. Uh, this is a misapplication. Thank you, Dave Borowski. Uh, Matt Singer's kind of same thing. These, these uh, we're looking for uh, kind of abused. Uh, techni technician incompetence from your competition. That should be a whole nother one, right? Uh, Paul Stoner's got one. It's pretty much just corroded itself away on these uh, compressor leads. Uh, there's things we can do to prevent that. Look at the, look at Darren's blower wheel here. You think that's moving any air? Oh my gosh! And you know you may as well stick your nose in it. That's th tell your customer this. Bring this stuff in. You may as well stick your nose in there because this is what you're breathing. All of the air you breathe is passing through this. Thank you, Darren. That was a good one. Uh, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and uh, choose a couple of winners. I uh, said a couple because there's just too many good ones in here. Um, I'll tell you what. Let's go ahead and round it up to five. I'm going to take the five best entries in terms of abuse and, uh, you know, capturing it on, um, on the camera is, uh, you know, so that we can share it to customers is a really good Good one. Here's one uh, D D uh, Darren put up. This wouldn't qualify, though, although that is abuse. Uh, looks like the concrete, cr they didn't want to pay to have the condenser move, so they just concreted around it. What idiots. But um, uh, let's see here. Ooh, that's pretty nasty. Good one, William. Um, good, too. Look at that one. Oh, my gosh. So, anyway, um, I just wanted to share that with you. Um, yeah, that was pretty bad. So let's go ahead and pick five five winners out of this group, okay? So this will be exciting. Now, we've get, we're have we approaching the 1,000 members, and so I figured we'd do a little something special here too. So here's what we're going to do. Um, whoever comes in as member num number 1,000, and by member I mean qualifying member, uh, we get a lot of people trying to get in the group that just want to sell you stuff. I generally block them. There's a few vendors that are in this group, but they've all been vetted. Uh, everybody's in here. You know, they're not here to try to beat you up and sell you stuff. They're just here to add value. And, you know, should you choose to do business with them, all, you know, better off. So anyway, here's what we're going to do. Uh, we're going to offer up the consultative service technician, the same thing that we're offering over in the, um, in the photo contest. This is a 23-page PDF. Uh, and it outlines the ideal service call. Okay. And, but we're also going to add a video to that. Uh, with a private link so we can walk you through and explain each section. So it's just like, here, read this. We're going to walk you through how to, how, how to do that. So um, we're going to give that to the thousandth member. But you know what? We're going to give it to whoever, whatever current member happened to recommend that person in, if that's the case. So if you recommend somebody and they win, you win too. Okay. Uh, and just to be fair, let's just make it number 99, 999. 
uh, 1,000 and 1,001. So there'll be six members, uh, six potential winners on that, the three that entered. And then if you refer to Buddy or something like that, we'll go ahead and shoot you a copy as well because we want everybody in here to have a chance to win those as well, although we've got plenty of winners over here. Now, this brings me to the next announcement. If I get the response on this, so you had to have stayed with me this far to even consider this, hit me up, direct message me on Messenger and say, Pete, I want in. And here's what it is. We're going to call this jamming in July, all right? If you're a service tech, one-man operation, if you have service technicians and, you, and you're trying to manage your service team, we're going to offer a one, for, one free month of service management. And here's what we're going to do. We're going to hold, uh, we're, going to, we're going to talk about four, I'm getting some feedback. We're going to talk about four um, key metrics that we're going to be measuring during these four sessions. And we're going to start after the 4th of July. And we're going to have four training videos that are going to prepare you for each one of these, okay? So we're going to have live group, four live calls, and we're going to have four key metrics. And we're going to start after the 4th of July. So that's on, I think it was on Friday or Saturday. Anyway, on the next Monday, you're going to get the link to the training portion of the video. So when you watch your video, this is what you're going to be trying to do all week. And we're going to come meet up on Fridays. Every Friday, I should say, uh, after the 4th, Every Friday, we're going to have a live meeting. We're going to do it early, 7 p.m. Uh, give us about an hour knockout and then go, and then, uh, go be with your family. Uh, for those of you who don't want to do Friday, that, that's all I had open. I apologize. Uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, in the evenings, we're doing inner circle mastermind groups and everything else, and I didn't want to interfere with your weekend. Uh, now, if you guys come back and tell me you want Sunday instead, we'll do that. That's fine. Uh, Sunday's open, but... Uh, Sometimes uh, it's not always convenient, but that's fine. So we can look into that. But uh, that'll be the free service manager for one month. Uh, and I'll be uh, hosting that. And you, you come on in. You can represent your team or whatever. But you're going to have, in, in order to qualify, you're going to have to participate. All right? So we're going to ask you to gauge certain numbers. And we're going we're gonna to be improving your numbers through July with training. We're going to give you some strategies. We're going to help you do this. So what we want to do is we want to maximize July the way it's supposed to be done. Instead of just running out there and doing all the work you can and trying to make that money and leave. No, we're, <laughs> there's, there's more to this game than that, right? We have to think smart, right? And we have to maximize each opportunity either for today, if that's appropriate, or for another day, if it's not pro appropriate, right? Otherwise, we're just trying to sell stuff. We don't want to be salespeople. We want to be consulting people, or at least your service techs do, because they pride themselves in doing that. You know, uh, many of them don't even like to sell, but that's okay. We're going to consult their way into higher numbers. And it's uh, it's a lot easier than you would think it, once you have that structure and you follow it. So those are the three announcements. So again, tomorrow we're going to announce the winners of the most abused HVAC component. We're going to go ahead and take the top five. Uh, as soon as we have our thousandths member, I'll be monitoring that, make, make sure we're getting qualified members in. And uh, we're going to go ahead and give that thousandth uh, member uh, that uh, uh, the copy of that as well. And then we're going to go ahead and if you recommend to that person, go ahead and go ahead and give you a copy of the uh, same program that we're giving away, uh, or at least the initial portion of that program. So, uh, 999th member, 1,000th member, 1,000th and first member. So just 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 in case you barely missed it, you know we got you covered. Okay, and then so in Jam in July, this is our fourth of July four by four. We got four training videos, we have four live meetings, and we have four key metrics that we're going to be monitoring. And your sales, your service numbers, your service induced productivity is going to be increased as a result. So come join us, but you must PM me on the the, uh, the service manager uh, for a month in July. June's over. That initial spark is pretty much gone. Now you're going to have to get out and earn it a little bit more. So this re requires a little bit more strategy. So hopefully you'll join us for that. Pete Ramsey here, HVAC Greatness. Uh, wishing everybody a happy Monday and a productive week. And uh, we hope to hear from you soon. Bye-bye.